looking to buy an ultra modern entertainer's home in Serengeti Golf Estate? Welcome, this is Xavier with Luxury Homes Johannesburg. Today we are in front of this stunning home which we're about to tour now. Today's edition we have a special guest appearance, Proverb, entertainer and real estate enthusiast. Welcome. Thank you so much. And we have Marusha who's going to take us on the tour together with Proverb. Marusha, Luxlive Property Group, as always, specs on the house. This is a five bedroom, four bathroom, four garage home. Without further ado, guys. Well, I'm so excited to have you here and to tour this house with you. Hopefully, maybe you buy it at the end of the tour. Marusha, I am equally excited. Cannot wait to see it and explore it. And hey, let's see what it has to offer. Brilliant. So starting from the front, curb appeal, so important. I'm loving that car. I don't think it comes with the house, <laughs> but beautiful white space. This is an entertainer's home. So having a lot of space for your guests to park, super important. And of course we have the four garages. Look at this. This I've never seen before. This kind of detail here. Yes. And this facade like this. Very, very fantastic and unique design. So this is wood cladding. So along the entire, this is two double garages. So it's a four garage. And each of those doors slides sideways, which is quite unusual. And when we go inside, you'll see very high ceilings as well inside the garage. So you can have a huge vehicle, not just a tiny little one. For sure. <laughs> Like a nice uh, four by four or a hammer or something to that effect. Absolutely, you can. So as we're stepping now towards the entrance, you will see we're starting with a bit of concrete element here. And again, we're seeing that wood cladding. And as we go through the house, you also see exposed brick, but just a touch here and there. And also even some exposed rock, uh, rock cladding along the way. So all elements, Zen elements, and some would say a little bit of touch of Feng Shui, though this is not a Feng Shui house. Okay? I don't uh, know my rules as far as Feng Shui. I only know that it has to be north and the direction of lighting and bouncing and energy and all that, but I don't know enough about it. Well, we need to have water, we need to have natural elements, so we have the running water. We should also be having koi, we don't have it, but I think we can have it as a housewarming gift when one ah. buys the house. And so then let's just start stepping down. So we've kind of walked past the one entrance and we're now walking into this open space, which would be our outdoor lounge area. That's what I like to call it because it's massive. We have the open sky. We have the very striking elements of those uh, wooden beams above us with the curvy element of the concrete slab. You can see the architect has really gone wild to impress your guests. I, I see that trifecta remains constant of, yes. uh, of phrase brick, of concrete, but that cladding as well. That seems consistent throughout the whole front and entrance as you go in. And I think if we go along into the house, maybe we'll see the same elements as well. Loving the fact that this entire wall has disappeared. This is sliding doors that slide completely into a pocket wall so they you don't see them summertime this is all one huge room for a party of how many uh, i would say i'm thinking 40 can accommodate just guesstimating i would <laughs> definitely squash 50. 50 you reckon <laughs> I'll be bringing my friends, my family, yeah. extended family, and everyone needs to see and be impressed by my house. Okay, so it, so it means my party <laughs> is everyone brings a plus one. Okay, there we go. Done. <laughs> and because we're talking party, what do we see immediately to the right of our entrance is this gorgeous, modern, built-in bar area. And that's not all the bar areas we're going to see in the house today, but let's start here. This is obviously for your wine display, for your cocktail mixer display. You can see they love their cocktails. I'm seeing a lot of colors here. And you have the built-in coolers as well. It's like an entertainer's dream. Immediately, as soon as you go in, it sets the tone of the house. It says yes. it is fun. It says it's funky. Yeah. It's not dull, heavy, and boring. Absolutely Very, not. very nice indeed. It just gives it that exciting touch. Makes you want to start mixing, right? Exactly, exactly. So immediately to the left was our formal lounge area and we'll see there's more lounge areas 
in the house, but this would be the first lounge that you see as you enter the house. And from there, the eye takes you straight out onto the golf course because we are on the green belt, on the golf course, on hole one. What I appreciate is uh, this center feature here, which is also your pillars, is that even yes. though that's there and it's decorative, it doesn't mm. interrupt, but it just forms a nice natural separation of the rooms. Absolutely, it just tells you that this is a different room. It also allows you to display your artwork. Maybe you can put some statues here, some art pieces on, on those pillars as well, but it still allows for the flow of conversation from the two rooms. Very nice. And I see it continues that theme where yeah. outside it lived in the form of cladding and concrete. Yes. And here it's wood, which is yes. a similar kind of a texture yeah. alongside the concrete. So that theme continues. Yep. And we're standing right next to what I would call the waiting area for the, for the formal seating around the dining room table. So you've made your mixes here, so you can just sit and enjoy your cocktail whilst the dinner is being served. A uh, dining room for eight seater, easily 10 seater as well. So very nice and spacious with a lot of flow around it. And you have to love this uh, natural design as well. Mm. This uh, wood texture, it really just makes it interesting. And it's a nice talking point as well. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely stunning. So into the kitchen. That's always my favorite room. I absolutely love being in the kitchen. And look at the strip lights that are running along the entire length of the center kitchen aisle. And then you also see light elements in those um, see-through tinted glass uh, cabinetry that we're seeing here, mixed with also some wood finish cabinetry as well. Yeah. May I just mention, I think this lighting really gives it a sophisticated feel, but it, it serves a different purpose here, where it gives the impression and illusion of floating island. Ew, Just quite because right. of how they used it, it seems like the whole thing is just floating. You're right. Magical. You're right, and it goes along the entire way, plus it goes up here. So this entire piece also appears to be floating. Very, very beautifully done. And of course, all the cupboards, soft close, soft touch, tinted plus wood and um, it's uh, made by Linear Concept, so one of the top kitchen and cabinetry design companies in the country. So when you say soft touch, you mean like if I'm stealing a midnight snack and I don't want anybody to know, I can Absolutely. just come and get my donuts quietly and close everything. Absolutely. Okay? And speaking of that uh, <laughs> midnight snack, you also won't be hitting your ankles on uh, the corners of the cupboards because the light will show you where the aisle is. We've got built-in fridges here. I'm not gonna open, so we don't see what's for dinner tonight, but built-in fridges and top of the range, Gaganau appliances. We've got the oven and the microwave and gas plus electric. Quick question, I see there aren't any handles on any of the cupboards. Is it all touch, shall I assume? Not all, but here, for example, you have those very uh, cleverly concealed um, paces just above your cupboard. So literally your fingertips can go in and you can just open the same with all these drawers that we've got here. And look how beautifully, I mean, this is so smooth. It's like it's going into butter, literally. And then what we've got here also is being uh, the top of the range kitchen cabinetry company that they are. What they've designed here is uh, those uh, shelves. So this is your pantry and it, notice one finger and I've just pulled an entire shelf packed with really catch up by the looks of but things. But not only that, it's such a clever use of space because how many times do you have a corner design exactly. and you lose out on that corner space? Exactly. It's almost like a blind spot. Exactly. So to have it curve in there like that, very clever indeed. Absolutely. Good use of space. And you've got this massive Caesar stone countertop here to lay out your tapas and they've even carved and built the entire sink into the countertop. I believe this is quite a difficult thing to achieve, which makes it very, very expensive. So you know this is of high quality as soon as you see something like this, hey? I think so too, absolutely. Super high ceilings. I mean, if I'm standing here, easily above uh, three meters height. So incredible feeling of volume that we've got here. I always considered myself a tall guy, but not when I'm under such high ceilings. I feel dwarfed, to be absolutely honest. <laughs> Are you interested to have a look at the garages? Because I know you love your cars. You know I am, I definitely Let's do. Let's go have a look. see what they've got hidden in there. 
four uh, four car, car garages. garage absolutely so while we are walking towards it of course we're walking through this gallery area and this is such a cool feature here concealed in this cupboard it's a laundry chute so whatever you want to throw in for the wash upstairs you literally just throw it in and it comes down here and that's it no need to carry baskets i, I love this let me tell you i've got teenage kids and just to get them to put their clothing in the basket. So now imagine bypassing all of that. Exactly. Throw it down the chute straight away. Though right with my teenagers, day. even getting them to the laundry chute might be a challenge, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> you're, you're so well behaved. <laughs> so notice, I mean, this is a humongous car and it feels very comfortable in this equally humongous garage. Exceptionally high ceiling. And what you'll notice around the corner here, Tesla battery and inverter system, which is your solar backup power. This has absolutely become a necessity in the country with yes. all the load shedding that we have. Uh, if we can get off the grid as much as possible, this is definitely the way to do it. Very nice. I think here you're pretty much off grid, minus of course your, um, your heavy ovens and so on. Around the corner, what we also have is a second kitchen, which would be for your staff, as well as staff room, which is very, very nice and spacious, and the bathroom as well. That's always nice to have uh, separate uh, maids' quarters, that way they can also do what they yeah. like and they off time as well. Yes, absolutely. Um, as well as yeah, come in and have access to the property yeah. very easily and quickly. So guess what? We've stepped out onto the very deep, spacious patio and bar area number two. Indeed, and I see this is uh, the Caesar Stone Rugged. Rugged. Top over here, hey? And you can actually feel it. You this can. It's very unique. It actually, it's, it's so textural that it really makes you want to sit and, you know, just relax. Yeah. It's almost back, uh, back to that whole Zen garden feel. Instead of sand, we just sit and play with the countertop. I don't even think you have to be a stickler about coasters and things. This, no. it lends itself to just, you know, freedom. You can just yeah. entertain freely. Everyone can do what they like and you won't even damage or scratch this. More bar fridges there. And there's some wine coolers here, this side. And if I've learned anything from you, the cupboards also lend themselves to opening the very same way as well. So you yes. won't see any of the handles. I feel like that's old school. Absolutely, handles, no handles. Hey? Handles yeah. are dead. And of course, waterfall, countertops. And here we also have this custom designed space for your eyes and um, for your um, water. Yeah. Stepping out, a bit of a braai area here. And from there, straight into the pool. Which I see is also uh, designed so perfectly within the concrete as well. So the design is seamless and it's uninterrupted. Yeah. And it's not like a different design, just giving it a little bit of a, you know, unidentifiable feeling. Very continuous and seamless. And quite a big step here. So you can sit and sip your cocktails whilst watching the kids play. This is a huge pool as well. I think this is a four meter by at least, I would say a 10, 10 meter length. So you can kind of do laps even. I think so. And Marisha, you have to mention how while you're in there, you are faced with this immaculate view. The view is spectacular. I think you pay a few million just for the view before you even start building the house, right? And did you say to me it was uh, near the hole first... number one? Yes, yeah. So you either quickly come for uh, a reinforcement for a drink or you run away when you see that you're not on par with the others, you know, but you've got the options and there's a quick door that you can get yeah. in and out. No, from. that's what I'm likely to do. I'm a terrible golfer. So as soon as that first shot goes wrong, I just jump into my gate, go make myself a drink. And into the drink. pool, no one into will know where you pool. are. <laughs> exactly, exactly. This I absolutely love because not only do we have to have a Boma these days, but the way the seating is arranged, once again, just look at the view. And it's also a unique design. This I've actually never seen before. Yeah. Uh, this design of the Boma and the fireplace. So it's very unique. I'm seeing it for the first time. I think I'm definitely going to steal this idea. Well, you need to invite us when you build it in your house so we can check it out. We'll definitely do it. And it really does wonders for uh, entertaining in the evening and yes. in the winter time as well. And look how the seating flows into also the, uh, the steps really of the decking, but that can extend to all your guests. Because remember, we have 50 people. Yeah, again, <laughs> that uh, wood 
and concrete combination continues yes. as well as the cladding as well. That's it, stone cladding and the exposed brick. They're really consistent with the design and how the different materials were used. So look at the curves above us. So not only do we have very deep uh, cover along the entire patio so you can put soft furniture and so on, but it's not, it's not this stark, uh, very um, uh, sharp edges, you know, everything is flowy. So in line with the water, with the grass, with the nature, and just makes it softer. Yeah, it gives it a seamless feel. Yeah. And this continuous flowy vibe as well. So stepping here, just behind you is a games room. It's a massive room. We can't see it right now, but it's a huge room. Your kids can play games. You can play your computer games there. Why not? And it's right next to the pool area. So tucked away. I believe it's almost any teenagers or a man like myself who has a teenager in him. Yes. You know, it's, it's their dream. Hey, imagine a place we can escape just to play games all day long. Oof. Why That's not? what dreams are made of. And a separate entrance from here. Guest toilet, really nicely, nicely done. Everything here is also with the wooden flooring. And here we also have a fifth bedroom, which is ensuite with a shower, really nice bathroom. And, um, and that would be your guest bedroom number five. And upstairs we're going to see four more bedrooms. I see the, the flooring uh, has changed from the other rooms we've seen thus far. What kind of flooring would this be? So this is oak wood and um, the rest of the entertainment areas where we've been now is this concrete screed look. So the moment you go into the bedrooms and um, upstairs you will see as well softness. Invite you to take your shoes off, walk barefoot and you have that wood feeling. Does that then continue with this uh, floating staircase that I see? It seems like a similar material and texture as well. Absolutely, I can see you're a housing expert. You know all your special words. With yes. terminologies and things, your I'm term... just a massive fan. So here's our floating staircase and automatically the strip lights that are built into the stairs turn on as we go. And we also have the glass and steel balustrades just to add to that modern look. Now, where would you conceal a sensor for something like this? Or is it each step has its own sensor? How how would it work? I'm just kind of fascinated by a design like that. Well, I will show you one of those concealed sensors and that's the whole point. They have to be concealed so we shouldn't be able to see them easily but we'll, I'll show you one shortly. Just note, just above the staircase, this stunning, super long skylight that runs pretty much the length of the staircase just to bring the sky in, nature, touch of sun, and maybe the stars. That's actually very unique. Usually, um, you know, homes would pick one particular room where to have yeah. a skylight. Yeah. So to have it by the staircase is something I've definitely never seen before. Yeah. Very, very unique design. And let's now step into the main bedroom because this is really uh, the main feature of the top section. The bedroom facing the golf course, absolutely stunning again in space and in views and way to see the bathroom. This uninterrupted view is magnificent. You know, I love the fact that you don't have any tall buildings interrupting your view. You can see the golf course, the natural light that's coming in here. Even now, that cool breeze that you can feel. Yes. Oof, it really makes this room to die for. And here we've got those wooden floors again that we spoke about, and they've carried on with the wood effect, but in a more modern look, this is entire wall and it's a feature wall with wood and that is also your headboard. It's also your headboard. I do, I do appreciate the fact that they've used the entire wall space, you know, for this uh, yeah. particular feature. It just gives it a stunning classy feel. And floating cupboards. And let's now step in. This is my favorite room in the whole house. We have a selection of showers. We have so, ma so much space here and so much fresh air coming through. We've slid the doors open, as you can see, and we've got this outdoor shower, open sky, and there's more. And there's an island bath as well. Imagine just relaxing here at the end of the day with this open view here. So it gives you that yes. outdoor feeling, but yes. you know, of course, you're well protected as well. So very stunning. Really stunning and really stunning piece here with that curvy mirror that we've got. 
really again highlighting, I can see as I'm standing here, I can see the shower, the bath, and then let's step forward and you'll see this double shower, which uh, for me, it's a really, it's a treat. And the, even the shower heads, it's like this rain size, rainwater shower heads. And this is a tinted shower, so it speaks to the kitchen downstairs with, you know, the tint in some of the cupboards. And it's really generous with space as well. So uh, you don't feel, you know, confined in there or restricted. Yes. You can really just be free and enjoy your shower. And now, yet another outdoor room. What would you do here? I would um, do some yoga. I would lay down my yoga mat and just relax. Truthfully speaking, I'd probably just fall asleep. <laughs> but you know, the intention would be to come and zen out, to come and find my center, find my peace. It just strikes me as that kind of room. But I see there's the speakers here as well, so you can play, you know, gentle music. Absolutely. I mean, you have to, if you're doing your yoga, you know, downward dog without gentle music of course. cannot work. So you downward dog to a beat. I'm with you. <laughs> yeah. I'm with you. Uh, really? What I love is the whole house actually has built-in speakers and they're automated as well as your lights. So music automated, lights automated and also the blinds. Marisha, I'm a music man, hey? so wherever I go, I want my music to follow. Yeah. So this is a really, really convenient design for them. I think you can even have the music to lead you here. Ah. You can have it on so already. So I follow the music. There we go. Look at that shower. That's very generous in spacing. And I like the fact that it's uh, Jack and Jill, so we don't have to fight about different temperatures, different <laughs> water pressures. Everyone can set it to their preferences. Very convenient. Yeah, because uh, these days, the flavor of the day is the cold plunge, right? The cold plunge? Oh, we ice dive cold into showers. ice bucket. Yes, so okay. ice shower. One can be the hot, one can be the cold. That's fine. Yeah, <laughs> you can do that by yourself. Okay, so look at this. You might think it's chewing gum that your kid left on the wall, but this is actually a sensor. And it's tiny, it's literally the size of my nail. And um, this is the sensor that will turn lights on at night, as well as it might turn lights on as you're walking <laughs> past cupboards <laughs> and display your beautiful shoes. This is a tinted cupboard that we're looking at, but this sensor is for the lights, for the bathroom. So at night, you can find your way. Yeah, that for me is a really, really clever touch you know, just uh, from a convenience point of view, and yeah. I think from a safety point of view as well. Yes, for sure. And there was another skylight, by the way, that I didn't mention, but uh, a lot of skylights, a lot of natural light coming in from both sides. As we're walking now, just a quick look at, you've got your study area here, two desks, a lot of storage space, and down the passage, we're going to see three very generous bedrooms. That would be bedroom number one, and then two additional bedrooms, all of them with the same consistent look and feel space and all of them looking out onto the golf course and um, sharing this very generous bathroom. Ooh, which is also beautifully designed. Look at that mirror. Oh man, again, Jack and Jill basins, very, very convenient as well. So no fights about who's brushing their teeth first and who's hugging the bathroom. Very, Absolutely. very convenient indeed. Lots of cupboards here. And note this curve in the wall. So if your kids are running, they will not be hitting any sharp corners. It just curves and it leads you into... Marusha, quickly, I was just thinking about where we were in the garage. That means the, um, the shoot should be somewhere here then for the... You are entry. absolutely right? spot on. Look at that clever there thing. This I'm definitely adopting for my house. Absolutely, I think it's a must. I'm going to be walking around my whole house looking, where can I put a hole? Yeah. <laughs> and what can you throw down the exactly. hole? Exactly. <laughs> and here we are now, the last room that we're seeing in the house. This is the pyjama lounge. It's big enough for a cinema room, pyjama lounge, gym area, you name it. Listen, it might as well already be a cinema room. Look at the spacing here, you just want to jump in lounge, relax, put your feet up, and you can continue to host up here as well. So if the party's done yes. downstairs, you can ask everyone to come on up, we watch a lacquer movie, and then we continue the party. Absolutely. And two doors leading onto the balcony. The one balcony runs the entire length with all of the bedrooms that we can see from here. And then this is the second balcony, and it's right above the bar area, and it's also huge, you can put a lot. Oh, it is so spacious. You can furnish this thing to the teeth you like. Otherwise not, you can leave it as is. 
put mm. some, uh, you know, uh, outdoor gym equipment if you like. Yes. And just enjoy this view and this breeze while you're running on your treadmill. Just after you've done your yoga. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And this is another very cool surprise element of the house is that you can reach this upstairs balcony patio area through the staircase and that staircase can lead you straight down to the bar area so you are always within a few steps from your favorite cocktail. I think that is very, very convenient. And maybe just finish off in the garden just to take it all in for one last second. In case you've forgotten, this is a big house after all. But look at this view. It's absolutely breathtaking. That indoor, outdoor feel, that seamlessness of an indoor, outdoor, that continuous flow going on to the greens. It just never stops giving. It just continues and continues. Beautiful, beautiful property. Well, thank you so much. Did you enjoy the tour? This was such a lot of fun. Thank you so much. I sincerely hope we get to do more. But I hope so. This was definitely a beautiful property indeed. I could definitely see, you know, my family in here. Hey, do you like it? I love it. <laughs> and I love doing it with you. I think I can't do a tour without you again. So I'm going to have to invite you to all of the tours. There you deal. go. Deal, and, deal, deal. Until deal. the next one. Awesome. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this tour. As always, make sure to reach out. Marusha's details are below. So feel free to ask any questions and or request a viewing. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this tour. I had an awesome, awesome afternoon.